Yes guys, what is going on? Big Omar here, back once again. More Crew 2 videos for you guys today. So, in today's video guys, I am going to be talking to you about what cars they should have put in the Crew 2. That they missed out in the Crew 1, and I don't think they've learned from their mistake. But, <clears throat> we're going to talk about some of the cars I think that should actually be in this game. So, before we get started guys, as usual, you know, I want to give a big massive shout out to all my subscribers, all my um, loyal fans out there that have been with me from day one. Thank you guys, we have reached 3,000 subs, 3,000 plus. Thank you very much for that guys. So, yeah, big up all my sponsors, big up everyone that donates. So, just want to say a big shout out to you guys. Thank you very much for joining me, staying with me. And yeah guys, we're about to do this video. So, as you know, we play the crew guys. I mean, I am sitting here, I'm just chilling in <clears throat> my car right now in my Lambo, as you can see, looking looking lovely actually, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this guys. But yeah, I am here in my car, chilling. And I was thinking to myself, you know, there is certain cars out there that I do wanna see in these car games, which they just are not. So, some of the cars I think that should be in here, I mean, <clears throat> guys, as you know, us at OTI Gaming TV, we're very big up on cruising. We like to cruise. I know I like to cruise. I know Raja likes to cruise. Sometimes we cruise together, sometimes we cruise separate. But when we do, we have to cruise in cars like this, guys. I mean, you know, I don't want to cruise in a Lambo all the time. You know what I mean? I'd love to cruise in like a normal street vehicle. Now, don't get it twisted, guys. We have got certain street vehicles out here, like, I mean, I own the C63 on this game. Now, on this game, they should have put a lot more realistic cars in there, if you know what I mean, instead of putting these mad, crazy, high-end, hyper super cars. So, you know, I've made a little list in my mind, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, I think, personally, they should put a lot more Audis in this game, guys. You know, Audis are nice cars. The fast cars, you can make them look evil. You know, imagine now, guys, they drop, I don't know, an RS4. You know, you'll probably see a picture in a sec pop up of an RS4, guys. You'll be like, boy, that car's nice. You know, imagine they put a nice RS4 in here or an RS6. You know, an RS4 estate, guys. Oh, that'd be lovely. You know what I mean? RS6, RS6 estate again. You know what I'm saying, guys? We could just cruise these are more realistic cars this is something that they should incorporate into the game to make it feel more realistic yeah i can cruise around in my lambo on the game that's not a problem but i can't do that in real life chances are i could afford an rs4 or an rs6 so i could actually do that i can replicate my own car that i've got sitting outside in my game how cool would that be guys that's the kind of stuff that i think they need to start doing you know, again with the Audis, they can put the S1, the S2, the S3. Little cars, little hot hatches, these little mad things that you can soup up and make them fast and do certain races with them. Even an RS3, guys. Have you seen the RS3s? Oof. Them cars are bad blood. Evil. Big man ting. These are the kind of cars I think they should put into the game, guys. And I was talking to Raja and he agrees with me, you know. <clears throat> more realistic cars, the more realistic the game is. Not like I said, are you really going to drive around in a LaFerrari? No. Are you going to drive around in an Aventador? No. But chances are, you've got a Beeman parked outside. So, nowadays guys, they are, you know, they, they even skimping on the Beamers. In this game, in the crew, I know they've got, what? The M4, M5, X6, X5. But they haven't got nothing like an M3. Guys, imagine, yeah, we've got an M3 in the Crew 2. Soup that bitch up, make her look sexy as hell. You know what I mean? They're the kind of ones that they put into Need for Speed. But even then, they're OTT in my eyes. Just the way they drive and the way they are, the way they handle. It's, it's all OTT. Yeah, they look nice. But they're just OTT. In this, at least it's more realistic, guys. And I think, you know, they should put something in there like an M3. You know, an M6, guys. Why not put an M6 in there? M6 looks bad, blood. As a soft top convertible as well. And you can make it so the roof comes down and you just cruise it. Come on, guys. You're telling me you lot wouldn't smash the like button for that? I'm already smashing the like button for that right now, guys. 
You know what I'm saying? And I know, yeah, they've got like X5s and X6s and stuff like that. But I'm talking more up-to-date, more modern ones. You know what I mean? <coughs> Even now, I was talking to Raja again. And, you know, we were saying that they should put more Mercedes. When the crew come out, there was no Mercs in there. Now, in order to get the Mercedes, you had to have the season pass, which me, like an idiot, I didn't. But when that they released it as a DLC, I paid £3.69, guys, on top of the flipping money I paid for the game already. My friends, you know, like Raja and Trex, they were laughing at me like, why did you do it? But I thought to myself, you know what, because I won it. I've got a C63 in this game now, yeah, that's fine. But they need to bring out more that are free with the game not you know you have to pay extra money for fucking dlcs and stuff like that i, I don't want to be paying more money i'm already spending x amount of money guys and you shouldn't have to pay more money you should you know get these cars for free and like i said imagine now yeah they put in there i don't know a c63 guys the new shape the nice new one now don't get me wrong i prefer the shape the old shape it looks nicer the one they've got in this game the uh, in the crew but to have the newer one raw that would be beast mode and there's so many different variants of that car just as that one car alone guys you could have like a c63 or a c63 amg s you can even have the black edition you know what i'm saying and why not put i don't know a e63 who wouldn't want to go for a cruise in an e63 guys some big dirty chilled out merc black on black Al Presidente cruising down the road. I don't want to, like I said, always cruise in Lambos and Ferraris and, you know, stuff like that. I would like to cruise in a down-to-earth car. I think, personally, these kind of cars need to get incorporated into these games. So it's just a lot better. You know what I mean? You know, as another example, guys, an E63, I just said it, yeah. You can have an estate version as well. Just like your dad's got parked outside his yard, chilling, an E63 estate. You can cruise around in that on your game. You can even get your dad involved. And your dad can come cruise with the car he's got parked outside. You know what I'm saying, people? That's how we do it. And, you know, I, I think these gamers, these developers of these games, need to listen to what the fans say. And we always tell them, look, bring out these cars, bring out their cars. We're nobody special. They're not going to listen to us. I'm not saying that. But say, for instance, they do, you know, and they bring out a luxury car like, I don't know, an S63 or even a G, a GL63, a G-Wagon. Come on, people. That would be nice. That would be bad boy to cruise in them cars. We can do them sort of cruises on other games. Yeah, I understand that. We can do that on, I don't know, GTA because they've got a ripoff of every single car in the world on that game. That's fine. But it'd be nice to do it with the more realistic cars like these. Say I want to do an exotic cruise. Yeah, I'll pull out my Lambo. But if I want to do a nice, chilled out, you know, relaxed cruise. I can pull out my RS4, my RS6. Got my boy Raja chilling in his E63. I'm chilling in my RS6. We just go for a little race. You know what I'm saying, people? That'd be wicked. That's the kind of stuff they need to incorporate. What about a BMW i8? Look at the new i8, guys. The electric car. That's, yo... That car is monster. They need to incorporate that into here as well. You get where I'm coming from. All this kind of stuff, yeah, is exactly what they need to do and bring out to make these games more realistic, more, you know, down to earth. Yeah, guys, just off the top of my dome, as a quick example, why not bring out a Range Rover? Put out the Range Rover Sport? Or even like, I don't know, the SVR, the Range Rover SVR. That's a beast. Imagine having cruises in that, guys. Just pull up. Everyone's in a Range Rover. Have a Range Rover cruise. Couple of Audis. Couple of Mercs. Couple of Beamers. That's a more of a realistic cruise than having Lambos and Ferraris and, you know, Porsches everywhere. Like, you know. And I, I, I'm still a great believer in the fact that I understand why they don't do it. But they should bring out stuff like Rolls Royces, guys. Can you imagine a Rolls Royce Phantom cruising next to a race? Being followed by a ghost. You got me, Raja and Trex just chilling in them cars, just having a cruise. All the fans are with us, guys. Come on, what is going on? And we know how to get eight people in the lobby. That's not a problem. But, you know what? It's just, I don't know, guys. These kind of cars, yeah, are the cars I think should be added into the new game. They need to think of something to get it more realistic in my eyes. Like I said, it's not 
the worst game in the world. You know, they've got some wicked cars in here. And I'm a big fan of my Aventador, guys. You know that. That's my weapon of choice. When I race, when I cruise, it's my Aventador because I just love it. But I don't know. I think they need to bring out more realistic cars that people can relate to a lot more. Like they've got a Bentley in here. Yeah, they've got a Bentley. That's fine. But, you know, how many times are you realistically going to cruise in a Bentley? It would be nice to have something different, like I said, like a Wraith or a Phantom, you know. So let me know what you think, guys. This is my opinions on what's going on and what I think they should bring out in the crew too. This is a list of cars that I think should, you know, be incorporated into the game somehow. Smash that like button if you think that I'm right, guys, or you agree with what I say. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that bell, notification squad. You know how it is, guys. You'll hear these videos all the time. Raja will be bringing out a couple more videos as well. I'm going to be bringing out one every Sunday, as you know, on the Crew 2, till the Crew 2 is released. My boy Trex is covering Red Dead at the moment, so stay tuned, guys. If you are interested in all these games, you know how we do. Tuesday, if anything is released, guys, on GTA, we will be doing a GTA cruise. So... Let us know, guys, what you think in the comment section below. My name is Big Omar. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.